Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will balance this chemical equation. But before starting the video, if you haven't yet subscribed my channel, then please tap on the subscribe button and then on the bell icon. So you can get all the notifications of my upcoming videos. So let's start balancing. So this is an unbalanced chemical equation. And for a balanced chemical equation, the atoms of each element on the reactant side as well as on the product side should be equal so that it obeys the law of conservation of mass. So on the reactant side we have one iron atom, two chlorine atoms. So this is the reactant side and this is the product side. So on the product side we have one iron atom and three chlorine atoms. So now you can see on the reactant side as well as on the product side, the iron atoms both are equal. But on the reactant side we have two chlorine atoms and on the product side we have three chlorine atoms. So we have to balance the chlorine atoms on the reactant side as well as on the product side. So if I cross multiply them like if I multiply 3 on the reactant side and 2 on the product side. Then it becomes 6. Then there are 6 chlorine atoms on the reactant side and if I multiply 2 it becomes 6. So they both became equal. So the chlorine atoms on the reactant as well as on the product side became equal. Because I multiply here 3, I will put here 3 and here 2, so I will put here 2. Because you cannot change the subscripts, you can only add coefficients in front of the elements. So here I have not changed the 3, I have only added 2 in front of FeCl3. So you can see the chlorine atoms are balanced. But by putting 2 in front of FeCl3, I have not only increased the number of chlorine atoms, but also number of iron atoms. So on the product side, you can see there is one iron atom and here is two iron atoms. So I will multiply here 2, then it becomes equals to 2. But on the reactant side, you can see there is only one iron atom and in the product side, there is 2. So in the reactant side, I will multiply 2 so that it becomes equal to 2. So the iron atoms on the reactant and product side as well as the chlorine atoms both are balanced. So I have put 2 here. So I will put 2 in front of Fe. So the balanced chemical equation will be 2Fe plus 3Cl2 gives me 2 FeCl3. So this is the balanced chemical equation. So this is a quite simple method to solve this unbalanced chemical equation. I hope you like this video. If so, then please hit the like button. If you want to ask me anything, then please comment in the comment box. And don't forget to subscribe my channel, Science Thing.